Cassandra, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpino? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? Is she? left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. You weren't lying. It really is the spear of Leonidas. Uh, I may have mentioned you. I would appreciate your showing a bit more secrecy. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did it... You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. Hmm. That much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war. I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, Spring should not wish for winter as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand the word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this! Of course he does. Delphi is nothing, like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this time, I'll be an old woman by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is she not every bit as great as I said? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line?
Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker. I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you, from the visions, the child on the mountain. How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. I saw you feign ignorance in Kausos. You let an unknown sickness govern your decision. Innocents died thanks to you. But how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. The cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Bithia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Irobatos, uh, you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you. She knew who I was, what I'd done. She tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. And the Pythia seemed afraid of them. Guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I'll find where the Pythia lives, and I will get answers. Cassandra, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. <laughs> <laughs> 